Hi, just a quick follow-up video on the Tektronix 2 Series Scope. Uh, they've finally sent me some new firmware which uh, enables the uh, digital... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Firmware's upgraded. Uh, the digital uh, pattern generator um, and also the digital inputs on the um, analog inputs, apparently. So, wait, there we go. Um, this is much better firmware upgrade uh, process than what was previously. I think when I first did it, it was I still had beta firmware and it didn't even have a splash screen or anything. So that splash screen was uh, very nice. So apparently I've now got the capability to generate um, a serial pattern from a uh, CSV file, which uh, you can presumably put on your USB stick. So that's really cool. So I'm going to uh, check it out. Let's go. No, I do not wish to connect uh, my interwebs to the scope just yet. So we'll cancel that. So now let's try and see where this will be. I'll hit the digital button. The MSO feature is not enabled to enable. We must purchase. I thought they said it would be enabled. That's rather annoying. Okay, so let's go into utility over here. Let's go into demo. Maybe we can get a demo. Maybe we can get a serial bus demo. They did give me an RS-232 CSV file. So maybe we can try that. Or well, that's just going to... No, that's just going to do all that internally. Unfortunately, no, we don't want that. It's cool, but but nah. Aha, here it is down here. AFG and PG now. So we've got pattern generator. So we've got our arbitrary waveform generator and our pattern generator. There you go. And we, of course, we've got the uh, the four bits on here. So those top four pins, they'd be ground there. And uh, the four channel pattern gen, which is um, a very handy uh, feature, by the way. Um, if it let's see what it can it can do continuous and burst as well so you could have like burst packets uh presumably what does the board rate go up to do we can we is there any what's 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 the limit come on the velocity control could be better on this i expected i expected better oh we're going over a meg oh there we go there we go we're getting some velocity now wow four five meg that's handy come on you can do it. 10. 8. Oh, 25. 25 megabits per second. Nice. Now, I just had a look at the Excel file, uh, the demo that they gave me, and I'll put it up here. And uh, it literally is just the four columns um, with the pattern generator information. So, like, there's no scripting or anything else. It's like you can have just an Excel file. So, it's really easy to uh, do. Um, any dummy can do it, but... It doesn't seem to have any more, like, it'd be nice if they had some sort of, like, scripting ability um, to sort of, like, generate, you know, like a compiler kind of thing to generate uh, patterns. Anyway, we can choose the file here. Can we choose the USB stick? Okay, so I should be able to select file. No. I have to do load. I'm going to do load. Plug my stick in. See if it, uh, or maybe I had to do that before. No, there we go. It's detected. E drive. Ta da! CSV file. Awesome. And now I load. Do I? Is it loaded? That's a bit. That user interface is a little bit convoluted. <laughs> what? Can't. Is it loaded or not? I, I'm not. <laughs> so I assume it's loaded. Okay, that's just. I, I don't know. Do you think that's how it should work? I, I just. I think that's a bit weird. Anyway, there you go. Uh, yeah, 5 volts, whatever, 25 megabits per second. Um, let's just go continuous. Let's just see what it generates. So I can, like, drag that down the bottom or something. And, oh, helps have a probe. Yeah, the glare on this screen isn't great, is it? Um, it's, yeah, bloody gloss screens. Really annoying. But, uh, like, you can get, like, matte uh, overlays. I do actually have one... It's down in the dungeon. I have to see if it fits, actually. It fits this screen, actually. Um, bought it for another scope, but it might fit in this one. Um, I can't figure out how to turn the uh, demo off. Like, I can turn the display off like that, but it doesn't... I just want to, like, kill it. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Anyway, it does seem to be set to RS-232 trigger now. Um, so, <laughs> that's a good thing. But... Uh, Anyway, so, yeah, I could have just selected that anyway. If you're, you know, this is your regular edge uh, triggering, you would select bus, and, of course, you would select RS-232 is the only one, um, and you want to start uh, on trigger, so... Okay, and the bus, 
we actually want no we do actually want the bus on this is how we'd actually uh, do it like we could just use it in normal um, scope mode of course in fact I might do that if I can figure out how to get rid of this thing aha uh -huh. I forgot how to use it delete bus one there it is just hold down and we wish to delete it yes I do wish to delete it um, and I'm currently wait I don't want waveform view anymore why is that still there ah bugger it I'm getting desperate I'll hit the auto set button <laughs> this is what happens when you're not familiar well there we go um that is uh not looking like a square wave to me oh duh that'd explain it times one scope probe there you go well there's your problem I've done a video on that with the um times one um scope probes and uh how they have a lower bandwidth uh oh, my level's way off now hang on I put I push position center why doesn't it center push to center why is it not doing that um what's going on here that I I should be out look it goes down to the bottom why is it not centering that's weird sorry I don't use this scope on a daily basis um but <laughs> I'm like come on center oh what I mean it's got the center position marker up here at 21.95 volts what's going on all right I, I must be really really dumb yeah there's my ground level okay so it's not like it has some huge offset voltage or something let's auto set that again there we go it's auto set so what what, what was the deal there okay it works now it works fine I, I got no idea what that was um if, if you've got any idea leave it in the comments but there you go um there's our waveform that doesn't seem to be rs 232e to me dull i've got the wrong channel i got the wrong channel <laughs> looking at the excel file yep it does that i spec the excel file is specifying one zero one zero one zero one zero and channel four there we go <laughs> so that was just a uh, like a clock essentially working as a clock um output yeah but there is our uh rs232 and we should be able to decode that but unfortunately um i don't have the digital license they said i did um on this scope but it looks like i don't yeah there you go uh firm base firmware uh perpetual license ultimate bundle includes source and serial options aha uh -huh. i found that i do have the license for the uh using the analog inputs i was going to use the uh digital uh probe uh with the thing which is the uh 6316 but yeah you need the digital license for that but uh you don't if you uh, are using the analog inputs you don't need that uh specific license so anyway so i can uh, turn on the bus here um and i can uh select rsr 232 you got spy and you got i squared c and lin and all sorts of the cam bus and all sorts of things there um and it's maximum uh data rate is 15 megabits per second so i've had to lower uh the data rate to 15 uh, megabits per second on the uh, pattern generator no worries one annoying little thing um, I wonder why it didn't work and then I discovered that the threshold was zero volts by default so I yeah no why can't you set that by default to like one division of what your current scale is or something like that anyway um there you go uh decode format you can see that it's a uh, decoded hex here I don't want that I want uh, ASCII so that we can read it but those who are hey, oh it's done that in real time it's done that in real time hang on hang on we've got dot 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 hang on I'll single shot capture that I'll burst that puppy again and why is it showing dot yeah it's getting s for the stop bit there one cool feature here is that uh the custom board rate here um it, it readjusts this in real time so I can actually like I've captured the waveform right but the display will change and update so if i go outside of the timing threshold there you go you saw the data update there so it's updating each time it's resampling and then when it gets out of tolerance for the board rate it whoop, whoop, starts to change a bit and then it goes all wonky there you go it's pretty neat 
And bingo, I've turned on my event table here, and you can see EEV blog. There it is there. I can, you know, single shot capture that, and trust me, yeah, that is EEV blog. I can drag that window down. Yep, there we go. EEV blog, EEV blog, EEV blog. Um, because it's easier to use the event uh, table when you've got like a long bit of data like this because they're not displaying like I can change the horizontal and of course the uh, text the ASCII text actually turns up in there but I don't like like when you go to a smaller scale like this one that's not that small you could have changed the font and like put it above like you could have a, a smaller font and put it above like that because it's just you know there, there's plenty of room in there um, to actually put you know, the ASCII, you know, even at that scale, there's enough room to put the characters above there. So I just wish they did that rather than, you know, you have to actually, you know, zoom into a certain uh, level and, you know, like that. And then, you know, they've got this nice big bold font in there, which is absolutely fantastic. But, you know, then when you zoom out, you've just, you've just lost it and you have to have your event table up. I don't know, just a small thing. But anyway, there you go. It works. Cool bananas. Um, and yeah, I did confirm that uh, it looks like I don't have the MSO uh, license installed. They thought I did, but I don't. So I can't use the Logic Pro. But um, yeah, I can use the analog uh, input sources, no problems whatsoever. So there you go. Um, they've added uh, this capability of um, the pattern gen up to 25 uh, megabits uh, per second, which is really nice. And the arbitrary function gen, I think, isn't it? Up to uh, 50 meg? I think it can go up to, well, let's go, yeah, 50 meg. Can we go to 50 meg? Yes, we can. Look at that. But we can't. No, I think, I think that's the limit, is it? There we go. No, 50 meg uh, maximum. So, you know, really nice capable uh, function gen. Now, nice capable uh, four channel uh, pattern gen. Very handy to be able to actually just, uh, you know, put ones and zeros in onto into a CSV file, put it into a USB stick, and Bob's your uncle. You can output um, uh, test patterns for, you know, you can sim emulate um, anything, really. So that's really quite neat. I like that. So they did uh, promise to do this when they released uh, the scope. So it's been at least for uh, quite some time now, but they did actually, they, they came through on their promise and the uh, pattern gen um, seems to work. I'm gonna try this again at uh, the full speed actually. So if I go into the pattern gen and bit rate, what was it, 25 meg? And let's go into the bus down here and 25 also, 25 meg, enter. Okay, oh no, 15 meg, oh, that's right. So the analog uh, bus decoding uh, lags behind uh, what the uh, pattern gen uh, can do. But of course, if you use the digital input, um, it'd be much uh, faster. It's just the analog uh, capability there. So I can change that to 15 meg. And let's see if we can repeat that. Can we? Whoop, 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 whoop. It's not working now. Uh, have I got a signal integrity issue? There you go, it works at one meg. Um, doesn't seem to be working on the extremes. Let's try 10 meg. No, it's not working at 10 meg either. So, yeah, that could be a signal integrity thing. Oh, hey, oh, there we go. I just lost my uh, table. Single shot capture. No, see, it, it looks pretty good. I got, you know, that should, that should do the business, I would have thought. Um, a five meg maybe? Okay, it looks like we're good on EEV blog there. Yep, okay. So for somewhere between 5 and 10 meg, it seems to uh, crap itself. So I don't know why. Um, the waveform uh, integrity looks pretty good. So I don't know, is that some sort of uh, software limitation or something maybe? I don't know. Um, tech might want to get back to me on that one. Anyway, that is a very cool feature and... Well, there we go. We've got our table back. There we go. EEV blog. Nice. Yeah, pattern gen. Very handy uh, capability. I, you know, you'll probably see more and more scopes uh, getting a pattern gen. Uh, like, you know, the uh, older Roden Schwartz uh, ones have them. But I like the ability of this just to, uh, you know, a CSV file and just four columns of ones and zeros. Great stuff. Anyway, catch you next time.